Hello guys and welcome, Drew here. So today we're going to be doing some more Scape Shift. So let's just get right into it and see if we can get another win. So far we've won, I think we've won all of our matches. Okay, so we already have a guy who has joined. Let's see if we can win. Okay, see if we can get a good roll. Ten. Man, I'm terrible at rolling these dice. Oh, we win though, okay. So we will play and we will draw our hand. Um, it's not a bad hand, so we'll just keep it, especially because he mulligans to six, so that's awesome. Alright, so we will Misty Rainforest, crack, and just go grab a forest. And then with our forest, we're going to suspend a uh, search for tomorrow. Probably uh, the best turn one play for this deck. And that will be it. So now we get to see what he is playing. Okay. So search for tomorrow is super good just because you can get... Oh, Celestial Colonnade. Okay, well it comes in tapped, so it's our turn basically. Um, it means he's playing some form of control. Maybe Esper, maybe just uh, Blue-White. Okay, so we will remove a counter, and we're probably just going to play Stomping Grounds, take two, and then Farseek. We want to get Farseek out pretty soon, just because he's obviously playing some sort of counter deck. And we'll just go with another island. This comes into play tapped, and that's the end of our turn. So next turn with Search for Tomorrow, we will have four lands, and if we draw another land, that'll be five. And then if we can also get um, Shocker Tribelly, that will be six. So he's going to play a Wall of Omens. We don't really care about this. He gets to draw a card, which is good for him. But it's not like we're attacking him for damage usually. Okay, so we can grab another island because our search for tomorrow is done suspending. And we will see what we draw. We got a Cryptic Command. Okay. So we're going to play the Shocker Tribe Elder. And I'm just going to sack it immediately and grab probably another island I think that's the best yeah we'll go with another island so we didn't get a land drop this turn which kinda sucks it's not the worst just because control is quite slow but control can definitely counter our escape shifts and stuff which is not gonna be the best so he plays a glacial fortress and passes the turn back to us so Hopefully we can draw land. Okay, we got a search for tomorrow, which we're just going to hard cast because we're going to have mana up for uh, remand. So let's see if he's going to counter this. Okay, he's going to play mana leak. Uh, we are going to just remand the mana leak. See if that works. Okay, and that draws us a card. And then since we drew this bring to light, we're going to actually grab a swamp just so we can have all four colors. And that should be good for our turn. So we know he has a mana leak, which we have a cryptic command. We also have a remand, which is pretty good. Wall of Omens is still sitting here, and he is just going to play another land. So back to our turn. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we have seven now. Hmm, so we can cast our Bring to Light. One, two, three, four, five. And we will have two open for a man, so hopefully this will work. We're just going to go for it. So here we go. Going to play Bring to Light. See if he counters that. Okay, tapping two to Mana Leak. Okay, so if we remand this, he's going to play it again, obviously. Hmm. I think I'm still going to go with their man just so we can draw another card. Hopefully that's the right play. Uh, we will see. So I remanded his thing. We draw a card. Get stomping ground. He's going to mana leak, and there goes our bring to light. And then we're just going to pass the turn back to him. So now we really need to find escape shift or another bring to light. Um, he's starting to get a lot of mana up, which is kind of a problem. 
Okay, so we get a bolt. Uh, not the best. So we can play the stomping ground in tapped and end our turn. I'm kind of saving the lightning bolt on the anger of the gods, maybe for colonnade. If he's gonna play that, because that's usually their win con. Um, I guess we'll see. We don't have enough mana. Oh, we do actually. Next turn, will. Okay, so he's gonna pass back to our turn. Uh, we drew a snapcaster mage. So let's see. Can we snapcaster bring to light? So bring to light's five. One, two, three, four, five. Snapcaster's two, one, two. So he's definitely going to counter if we try and bring to light again. So I don't think that's the way to go. I think we should just keep... Because uh, hmm. he definitely has some sort of counter spell here, obviously. And it'd be great if we could have mana for cryptic command. Um, but I guess we'll just get, we're just going to end our turn. We will see what happens. So we basically did nothing that turn. Kind of sad. Okay, so he needs five, one, two, three, four, five. So he has enough to play a colonnade. Okay, what do we draw into? Misty Rainforest, that's decently good. We can play that and crack it. And we will just grab our forest. Hmm. Yeah, we'll just grab forest. I'm gonna stack our lands here since we have so many. Okay, so four for cryptic, five for a bring to light. So we just need two more mana for Snapcaster, or we're just gonna have to wait till he taps out. If he trap taps out for a Celestial Colonnade, that'll be super good for us because then we're just gonna be able to Snapcaster, bring to light, and scape shift. Because we obviously have enough lands to scape shift, so he's gonna pass the turn back again. Um, he's definitely afraid to Celestial Colonnade right now. So we got Search for Tomorrow. Uh, just going to go ahead and hard cast that. Oh, let's see if he wants to counter it. Sorry. Okay, he says alright. And what will we grab? Uh, we don't have a basic land, do we? Wow. That was really dumb of me okay well that was a fail <laughs> no basic lands left we've uh, grabbed them all okay well it's gonna be back to his turn and we're gonna see what he will do upkeep draw so we definitely has some counter spells and stuff celestial colonnade in tapped he's probably just gonna pass the turn unless he wants to celestial colonnade Yep, he's just gonna pass. So we just need to draw. We just need two more lands. Okay, here's one of our lands. That's super good. And he's at 18. So if we draw a land next turn, we should be able to Snapcaster, bring to light, and have Cryptic Command up, which is super good. Um, he might go for the attack with Celestial Colonnade this turn, which is totally fine for us. We can. Um, Let's see. We can't kill a Celestial Colonnade. Um, okay, he's going to pat to exile his Wall of Omens. Okay. We are cool with that. Um, which means that he gets a basic land. I don't know if he's playing... He might be playing Esper. He might be trying to get a Swamp. Um, I'm not sure. Okay. So now it's his turn. He did that on the end phase. And we will see what he's going to do. He has a ton of mana. And that ghost quarter is quite bad because we've got all of our basic lands. Okay, so we get stomping grounds. Play stomping grounds. And I think what we do here is we just float all of our mana just in case he wants to ghost quarter. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 8, 9, 10, 11. So that's uh, 1, 2, okay, that's 11. 11 floating. 
I guess we don't have to float it, but it's probably better to float it. Snapcaster. And then uh, bring to light. So that's five, six, seven. So we just have enough to play a cryptic command. So is he okay with the bring to light? He's okay with the bring to light. Wow. Okay. So we can now uh, scape shift right off the bat. Is he okay with the scape shift? Oh, he's tapping a crap ton. Uh, cryptic command. We are going to cryptic command his cryptic command. We're also going to counter draw. He's going to snapcaster. Probably going to cryptic command again. Mana leak. And we don't even have enough to mana leak. Okay. So all that goes down the drain. Hmm. Okay. So uh, it's going to be the end of our turn. So basically, he's taken away uh, one scape shift and one bring to light. So we still have three bring to lights and two scape shifts. But there's a good chance that we aren't going to win this game just because of how much mana he has right now. And he can always play a Sphinx's Revelation, which is probably what he's doing. Oh, he's going to play an Elsbeth. Okay. Um, we're cool with that because we can't do anything. And she's at five. Hmm. Okay. Seems good. He's going to get three soldiers. Start combat. Might as well block. We'll just trade, I guess. And back to my turn. So we get a far seek, which isn't doing anything, so I'm just going to concede at this point. He's pretty much got the game. Ask him if he wants to do a game two. Okay, so what do we need for this? Um, this is not good. This is probably not good. Vendillion click. Uh, probably good. Dispels are all good. Negates are good. Anger of the Gods, not good. Is it Charm's good, but our Lightning Bolt probably isn't the best. Um, and I think Vendillion Click can deal us our two damage that we need. I mean, it can. It's a three-one, right? Yeah. Um, <clears throat> Snapcaster is good. I think at this point I might as well take out Worldly Council because he's probably just going to counter it. Although we do have our Negates and stuff. Uh, yeah, let's go with that. Okay. So we will play. Let's hope we draw a good hand. Um, yeah, we can keep that hand. All right, so we're going to play our breeding pool. Take two. And search for tomorrow. So that two counters on that. It's suspended, and that's the end of our turn. So we just got to be um, a little faster. Just because it takes his deck a long time to get up and running and once he's stabilized he's pretty pretty set um, take a counter off this and play a steam vents tapped and then tap this for another search for tomorrow hopefully we can draw some lands because that's pretty crucial and it is now his turn <clears throat> so he's gonna play another mana probably and he will then have remand up and mana leak, which is good. He's gonna tap him for a wall of omens. Oh, okay. Um, okay. And back to our turn. Untap, upkeep. Uh, just grab a island and take a counter off this, and then draw. Okay, cool. So we got another island. So we now have enough for cryptic command, which is super good. And that's the end of our turn. Okay, so we have Cryptic Command up, which is really good. We still need to get uh, two more lands because we have Search for Tomorrow, which is basically a land. Um, he's going to draw a card, then discard a card. Okay. 
Totally fine. And back to our turn. Okay, so upkeep. We're going to grab probably just a basic forest. And then hopefully draw a land. Okay, perfect. We'll just put that in tapped. And one, two, three, four, five, six. So if we draw a land next turn, uh, it should be game because we can cryptic and scape shift. But we really need to draw a land. So it's basically up to luck here. And um, we'll see what happens. So I don't think he's going to be able to transform Jace um, too soon. But Jace is definitely getting him a lot of card advantage. Which is definitely good for a control deck. So he's going to draw a card, then discard cards. So he last turn, he discarded... Uh, I think he's discarded another Supreme Bridge. Okay. Back to our turn. Draw land. Oh, Shocker Tribe Elder. Um... Alright, well, we will play him and sack him for a another island. So, we're going to just pass back to him. Basically, the best thing that we can draw is a dispel. Because if we draw a dispel, we're going to be able to scape shift. Oh, wait, let's see. Oh gosh, I'm totally wrong. We can't even scape shift yet. We can, we can scape shift, but we will, we won't be able to scape shift and cryptic. Wow. Okay. So we should have played scape shift that turn, just to get some of his uh, counter spells out of his hand. That would have been good. Because we have two scape shifts, so <laughs> we will see what he does though. Okay, he's gonna tap draw and then discard again hmm so whatever he plays we can cryptic right now if we want to if he plays something he probably won't hold fountain tapped and in the turn okay so we got a steam vents so I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna put steam vents into play take two and then we are just going to scape shift. So see what he does. He's got to counter this. One, two. He's going to play in a gate. Uh, we're just going to go with the cryptic command. He might have a mana leak or something in also in his hand. We're going to see. He has a remand. Okay. So, scape shift won't resolve, and we are pretty much forced to try again next turn. So, next turn we can again scape shift and cryptic command. We got uh, two counter spells out of his hand, which is good. But Jace is giving him, him so much card advantage that he can. He probably has a bunch of negates and mana leaks and remands and crap like that. He's gonna play a prairie stream. Okay, and draw a card, and then discard again. Oh, this is a nasty deck. Okay. Oh, does that exile? Okay. Uh, it's now our turn. Untap, draw. We got our Valakut. Um, so we can definitely do that. That'll be fine, I guess. And we're just gonna go with another uh, another scape shift. See if we can get scape shift off this time. He has six lands. Tapping four for a cryptic. Okay, so now we can also cryptic, but he's probably gonna mana leak or something. And he's lost connection. <laughs> wow. Uh, I guess we can just wait a little bit, see if he comes back. Um, I don't know if he has if he has something else in his hand. That's gonna be bad for us. 
But that's all right. We will just see what he has. Um, I'm just debating whether to go to a different game or not. If only we could see what was in his hand. Well, let's just go to another game. <clears throat> we'll take that as a win. All right, so let's create another modern game. Load our scape shift again. Just go with one game here, and see who we who we can get to play. Hopefully, we don't play control again. Control is not the worst. Just it's more of a long matchup. Okay, so this guy's ready to go. We are ready to start. See if we can roll something decent. Nope, a seven. <laughs> uh, we'll see what he rolls though. So we roll the seven. Not very good at all. There's secure chakra. Goodness, tribe elder in the top right. And let's see if he's is he ready to go. Okay, he rolled a 13. Okay, so let's see what our hand looks like. Uh, not the best. We can probably keep. It's kind of risky. But let's just go, uh, we will try it. Why not? Okay, so he is on the play. And we will see what he's playing. We're probably only going to do one game with this guy just because we had two games with control. Okay, Swamp. And, okay. Uh, probably going to go with Lightning Bolt. Yeah, seems good. Okay. Um... I think that's yeah. All right, now it's our turn. Let's see what we can draw. Oh, perfect! Misty Rainforest. Crack that right off the bat, and just go for a forest. That was a great draw. Search for tomorrow. Set our counters to two and pass back. So I'm thinking this could be eight rack, I guess. Some discard deck. We will see. Search for Tomorrow is such a good card. It really is. It's such a good uh, first turn play. So he has another Swamp. Hopefully he doesn't play another one of these things. Oh, just kidding. Okay. X is 3 minus the number of cards in his or her hand. So 5 minus 3, so that's 2 damage. Oh, gosh. All right, that's cool. Uh, we will remove one of these counters. Draw, we got a stomping grounds. Probably gonna go with the cinder glade here actually. And just tap for another search for tomorrow. So next turn we'll be able to get a land and play a shocker tribe elder. Um, that'll be really good, so let's see. So at our next upkeep, we're going to get, oh, all right, uh, it's now our upkeep, so take that off, uh, we'll go with an island, and this goes to one, okay, and we get a draw here, probably just going to go with the, actually we'll go with island, just keep up our remand. And then we're going to play a sh another Shock Tribe Elder. Sacrifice it because it's not going to do too much good. And what should we get? We can probably just go get a Swamp actually, just in case we draw a Bring to Light. And that comes into play tapped. And that's good. So pass back to his turn. 
Um, the Snarling Bridge isn't going to do too much to us just because we use combos to kill him. So, And the Rack isn't going to do too much because we only have three cards in our hand. So he's going to pass back. Perfect. Untap, upkeep. Um, we're going to sacrifice our search for tomorrow. Get a, another island. And then it's our draw phase. Play the stomping grounds. So right here, I think I'm just going to go with the worldly council. Look at the top three cards of our library. And see what we get. Okay, so we did get scape shift. So... So we can just play Scape Shift this turn. If he doesn't counter it, that is the game. So we will see what he does. Hopefully he doesn't counter it. Um, that, let's ask her if that's alright. Seems like it is good, so we will exile one, two, three, whoops, three, four, five, six, seven. So this is going to deal him 18 damage, and then we have our uh, lightning bolt in our hand to take him out next turn. So three, four, Five, six, and seven. They all come into play tapped. And that is 18 damage to him. He's still at 20. Uh, 18. Okay, and then... Next turn, we're able to lightning bolt him. Oh, and he's at 17. Uh, let's see. They all come into play at the same time. Give him a little smiley face. <laughs> okay. If you control at least five of the mounds, and we control six. So, that is game for him. Um, well, oh, I see. He goes to two, and then we will end our turn. So, next turn, we basically, all we have to do is lightning bolt him. So... Hopefully he doesn't make us discard three cards, because then we're going to lose. Uh, two cards. So, one and two. We're able to Lightning Bolt still. Uh, he ends his turn. Untap, draw, and then bolt him for the win. Okay. So we're just going to have to run from this game. Sorry, mate. Um... That's all for today, so um, pretty interesting. We're going to have one more scape shift, and I'm liking scape shift a lot, so I'm probably going to do some more scape shift next week also just as a bonus, but me and James are going to be probably pay, uh, playing Legacy or Standard or Budget, whatever you guys want. So anyways, thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys on the flip side.